How's it going everyone? My name's Nathan and welcome back to Snack Saloon. Now today we're doing some Japanese snacks. Again, I've got a range of drinks, candy, and just some general things here. Now I should point out that I tried to film this video once last week and I accidentally deleted the file like a complete idiot. So, trying this again. Hopefully this goes to plan this time. So let's jump right in with this. I'm going to start off with some gummy candies here. Now I've got three flavours. These are all obviously the same brand. This is watermelon, peach, and strawberry. I'm going to start off with the peach flavour. I've got to say, these things smell pretty amazing. And just looking at them, they're like a soft, like jelly candy. This is actually really good. The flavour's not too overpowering. It's just, you know, just barely there. Obviously, I'm going to try the others now and compare them. Okay, next up, I'm going to try the watermelon one. I've got to say, this one was a lot stronger than the peach flavoured one. It's still pretty good, but I'm going to say the peach flavour was a lot better. Last up, we've got strawberry. Okay, these things are all really good. I want to say out of all of them, the strawberry one's probably my favourite one. The watermelon was a bit too strong and the peach one was a bit too weak. If that makes sense. There wasn't much flavour to the peach one when compared to the other two. Well, this one definitely had the strongest flavour to it. Next up, I'm going to try these. They're, they say they're a corn snack, shimmy choco corn, so I presume they're going to taste similar to cereal because if you look at the bottom there, that reminds me of cereal, like a corn based cereal. There's no English on this apart from the choco corn, so I can't really read any ingredients or anything like that. But just looking on the back here, these expired January of this year, so these are probably going to be a bit stale, but let's go for it. Okay, here's what these things look like. They, they do look like chocolate cereal. They definitely smell a bit stale, so I'm not really expecting anything from these, but I'm gonna try it anyway and take that into consideration. Okay, you can definitely tell they're out of date. They're really soft, and you know when you would chocolate out, it goes a bit stale. That's the sort of taste I'm getting from this. I do think if these were in date, these would be pretty good. There's, there's a good chocolate taste to them. So I'm going to give these a thumbs up, even though they are out of date. Okay, next up, something I want to try for a while, this is the green tea Kit Kats. Now other than the regular chocolate Kit Kats, I've had them both in the UK, Ireland, and the US. Obviously this, this is using the European logo, but I've never tried any of the more exotic flavours, I guess that's the only way of putting it, so let's give these a try. It looks like these things come in little small packages, you can see compared to my hand, that's quite small. I've never seen one of these before, so let's, let's see what it actually looks like in the packaging. Looks like it's actually green. Yeah, this thing's like completely green. So let's give this a try. It does smell really strong. Hmm. Okay, honestly, I think I prefer these to the regular chocolate Kit Kats. These are really nice. They do taste really, really like green tea. Like it's not like an artificial flavor, it's like legit green tea. Okay, next up I've got two flavours of Pocky. You can see the boxes on these are already open because this is what I tried to eat in the last time I recorded this video. And that didn't go to plan, so I'm bringing them back in this one. But I've got chocolate banana flavour and cookies and cream flavour. I did the chocolate ones in my Thai video. I had some Thai chocolate Pocky, so if you want to see me in those, you can go and see that. I am planning on doing a whole video on Pocky as well in the future with a lot more different flavours to it. I'm going to start off with the chocolate banana ones because these are the ones that I really want to try. As you can see, this, the actual cream on the biscuit is yellow. There you, go, you can kind of see it, it's a bit blurry, but... There you go. Okay, so let's give this a try. Okay, I'm pleasantly surprised with these. They taste so strongly of banana. You don't really get the chocolate taste so much, but definitely taste really strongly of banana, so this is probably my favourite flavour I've tried so far. Okay, now for the cookies and cream. On the front it looks like they've got Oreos on there, but who knows. And of course these are white and they have sort of like brown speckles in them. Okay, I can't really say they taste like Oreos, but they do taste like, you know, just like your average cookie. These are pretty good. I'm, I'm going to see out the two. The chocolate banana ones are definitely my favourite, but these aren't too bad. I'll probably take these over the regular chocolate ones. And also the strawberry ones, because I don't really like the strawberry ones, but they're raspberry, I think they are actually. But this one out of the two is definitely the best one. It wouldn't be a Japanese food haul if I didn't have some Hello Panda cookies. Now this is obviously a big container, and these are the strawberry filled ones. Now, look at the 
box here. These are actually individually packed. Which I thought it would just be like a big, big bag inside, just full of Hello Pandas, but this is actually a pretty good idea. I don't know how many bags are in this, but... Oh, ten. There's ten there, so in the box. Yeah, so let's try these. I've tried the chocolate ones before, but I've never tried the strawberry flavored ones. Of course, they have little pandas on the front. Yeah, these are pretty good. I'm gonna say, I do prefer the chocolate ones of these. I've only ever had the chocolate and the strawberry ones. I'm sure there's other flavors. I had the green tea flavored koala biscuits in the Thai video, which are very similar to these, but not made by the same, same people. But these are pretty good. The last food item I have here are these sort of weird ice cream biscuit sort of wafer things. Again, there's no English on these, so I don't really know what is in them. And they did stick this big English ingredients label like I pointed out in another video, which is a bit concerning because the list of ingredients on this is really huge. So I'm not sure what to expect from these, but it looks like there's three flavors. There's vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. So I'm gonna also try each one. And you can see these are, they come in like cute little packaging. So I'm going to start off with the chocolate one. Now as you can see they do look like ice cream, it has like a wafer on the outside and then like a hard chocolate type thing on top. That's the only way I can really describe it, it's like an ice cream, so let's just give this a try. I'm going to say out of anything I've tried, these things probably have the strongest chocolate taste to them. You can see it has chocolate going right the way down, like the whole wafer is full of chocolate. But it almost tastes like a sort of hot chocolate powder, if that makes sense, like cocoa powder. So I don't know what ingredients they put in this, but it's definitely paid off because, like I said, this has a really rich flavor to it. Next up, I'm going to try the, the vanilla one. Obviously, this one has white on top. Okay, the vanilla one also had a strong flavor as well. I want to say the chocolate one's the better out of the two, but now I've got the strawberry one to try, so I'm thinking this one's going to be probably my favorite. Okay, one thing I noticed about the strawberry one, and I'm pretty sure the vanilla one probably had it as well, there was strawberry on top and chocolate at the bottom, and I noticed on the box here, that you can see, there's like the strawberry here, and then it's got the chocolate at the bottom there, which was an interesting thing to do, because the strawberry itself was really strong, and obviously, like I said, the, the chocolate was as well. And mixing the two together was actually really good, so I want to say this one is my favorite one, definitely. And then followed by the chocolate and then the vanilla on the least. Okay, I'm going to end things off here with these Japanese carbonated soft drinks. Now these are the glass bottles, you hear that there, that have the weird top. As you can see, they have instructions on how to open the bottle. I'm going to go ahead and just peel this off and then I will show you how you actually do this. Okay, so basically how this works, you get this green thing, like this, this is on top, and you push the inside out, so you get this like a just dropped it there. You get this like a pusher and on top of the bottle there is like a plastic ball and literally all you do is you put this on top, push down and the ball falls through into here releasing the carbonation. Obviously you have to apply a lot of pressure onto this and it makes a lot of pops. So let me go ahead and get that done. And there you go. So the little ball rolls through. You can probably see it rolling around in there. And that basically lets, lets the liquid come out. So let's give this one a try. This is just the regular flavor. So it smells like Sprite or lemonade. Yeah, that's pretty good. That just tastes like lemonade, really. There's no, there's no other flavor to it, just like a citrus taste. Then I also have a strawberry flavored one, which is the same deal with the top. Out of the two of these, I'm gonna say the original one is definitely the better one. Strawberry one's not bad, but it has a really artificial sort of strawberry taste to it. Out of all of the strawberry things I've tried, none of them really tasted artificial except for this. This one's actually pretty good. I mean, like I said, it tastes like lemonade, so this is something I would actually just drink. And obviously, it has a it's really unique way of, of opening this. Can't say that would really catch on over here, but it was interesting to try it nonetheless. So I hope you enjoyed looking at these Japanese snacks. Like I said, I always try to do a varied amount of things from candy to drinks. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and leave some suggestions below on foods that you'd like to see me try. Also, things from your country specifically, like tell me what country you're from, and name some foods out that you think it'd be interesting for me to try, because I really need some suggestions from a lot of countries that I'm kind of clueless about. That's going to be it from me, guys, so until next time, see ya!